So hello there, today I show you how I prepare the eggs of Bombyx Mori for uh, hibernation. Hibernation means either, um, yeah, mostly not either, mostly in the refrigerator because it's not good to keep them outside because temperature is going up and down and up and down. So what we have here is um, the Bombyx Mori. They are not living anymore. You know that they only live for about yeah, four to five days until they they have uh, made it and they started then have finished laying their eggs and then they die and if I find st some uh, females that are still laying eggs of course I put them aside here is a, um, here is one and I think also here is a female and a male still mating so this one I, of course I, ke I keep them and normally you can also put them on a paper on the kind of a, um, of, of a plastic uh, cup like this so that all the eggs are laid uh, in this round part of the of the plastic cup later but now here the, I didn't de do this so I let them run around in that case also as you, as you probably know they don't fly because they have lost this ability during a history of cultivation for around more than uh, 5,000 years and they just uh, run around here on the bottom of this paper and lay their eggs wherever they uh, can so I have to take out all the the dead or nearly dead animals and let them here for the last moment of their life and then we have these papers here filled with the eggs and uh, we have to be careful not to lose them because they are uh, so tiny and rolling around and then you can prepare a box like this to collect all the eggs that are running around and are not glued to the to the paper well enough and then you can just collect them here in this uh, in this little plastic cup that you see and of course also with the other paper you first just that's what you do first you just collect all the eggs that are not glued to the surface of the paper also you can see that uh, they have two different they have two different colors the eggs some they are yellowish and some they are uh, darker like brown violet so sometimes they change from yellowish to to the darker stage and the darker stage these are the fertilized eggs if in the later stage they stay yellow they won't be fertilized also here i have some more eggs in the plastic box i collect them also so probably here we already have around one two hundred of this small eggs and for the rest uh, the e one of the easiest uh, easy things is that you can just um, either you rub them off the paper and collect them later in the same way or the better method because sometimes you kill the eggs when you rub too uh, heavy you just cut them out here and put them in for example into a petri dish that I have prepared already this is also a very fine method uh, to keep the eggs afterwards on these papers like this you just can also do something like this cut them out of the paper and one paper on the other you don't have to care especially for that they are pretty uh, hard eggshells so they won't uh, squash if you put one on the other like this so and you can fill the whole the whole petri dish with the eggs on this paper and then we put them into a plastic a small plastic bag like this also you see you can put hundreds virtually thousands of these eggs into one uh, petri dish if you want 
So this is an easy way to store them, they don't need a lot of space. And, and even if somebody asks you where you have your Bombix Mori egg stored in the refrigerator, you can hide them very well between the salads. Nobody knows that in this uh, Petri dish there are the eggs of our mulberry silkworm, like this. And then uh, I have some little plastic bag like this. So that's where I put them. And then they go into the fridge, but l have a look that they are not the deep fries there. They should be, uh, as I already said, near the salads or the vegetables. So that's the right place for them. They stay there around 1 to 4 uh, degrees Celsius. So that would be nice temperature for them. Until next spring, when the mulberry trees start uh, growing again. So then we can wake them up with temperature. We have to wait a little bit, it's still November, so we need some five to six months more until we can start again with the rearing of uh, Bombix Mora. Thanks for watching.